Hey guys, welcome back to the CE Podcast Show. Hope y'all doing good today, feeling good, being blessed, staying safe during this whole quarantine epidemic thing going on with this COVID. You know, today I wanted to talk to you fine people about a topic that's just been on my mind for like the last two days. And I just felt the need to come on here and just, you know, share the word with you guys for a little bit. Today, I actually want to touch on the topic, manifesting your goals in silence. Now, you guys may be confused when I say that. Manifesting your goals in silence. Doing that, moving in silence. We're going to jump right into it, but first, we're going to have a quick word from our sponsors. And I'm going to fill y'all in. What's up, CE family? Are you a fur parent who loves to spoil your fur baby? Do you enjoy stylish apparel that showcase your love for your fur baby? Do you need a one-stop shop for all your fur parent and baby needs? Well, I got the perfect solution for you. Visit kidsoffur.com and they're going to hook you up. Now, Kids of Fur is a one-stop shop for all the fur parents who love to spoil their fur babies all over the world. They offer a collection of pet clothing and accessories. They also have a collection of t-shirts, sneakers, and purses for all the pet lovers all over. Check out their daily deals and their featured collections. And as a solid, when you guys visit kidsoffur.com, at your first order at checkout, put KOF1 in there as your discount code and receive 10% off. Let them know Queen SG, your big sis, sent you over that way. Alrighty guys, so that was a quick word from one of our sponsors. So we're going to jump into it really quick, you know, manifesting your goals in silence. Now, I cannot tell you how many times in my lifetime, you know, it's been those situations where, you know, I was in the middle of getting something done or, you know, you're ever in a situation where you're, you're getting a new apartment, getting a new car, just something good going for you. You know, you necessarily don't have it right there at the moment, but you're working on that goal for it. And say you hypothetically go and tell like a friend or a family member, let them know what you got going on. Say, yeah, in the next few days, you know, I'm going to be signing the lease for an apartment. I love it. This, that, and the third. You know, going on about it. And have you ever had those moments for you guys who have been in that situation? You speak it up, say that's what you're going to get. You're going to have the keys. And then something happens. Something happens that results in you not getting the apartment. And you're left like scratching your head like, what's going on? Like, I, I thought I did everything I needed to do. You know, and this even happens in situations where if you're applying for a job, you're so happy about it, you're excited about it, you know, you call the closest people that you know to fill them in and say, oh, I got this great job doing X, Y, and Z, and then come to find out, you know, after you thought she done done everything, it was a phenomenal, perfect interview, you didn't get the job. They decided to go with a different candidate. Those situations can leave people crushed. You know, they sit up there scratching their head, wondering why, what did I do wrong, what did I do wrong, you know, that can lead to this. You know, you done told everybody, so now you're feeling all low and and down and out because you're feeling like, okay, now I got to break the news that I'm not getting all these things. And I've, I've noticed that. A lot of people go through that situation. I personally even went through that situation in the past. But I had to sit up there and think, like, what what could I be possibly doing wrong? You know, I'm, I'm speaking about it, you know. I'm feeling like I'm this close to the goal, but then it just disappears in front of my eyes. So when I sat back and realized certain issues like that started to occur, I was like, let me change up my method a little bit. You know, while I'm going for these jobs, while I'm going to make these different moves or like in my case, not even going for jobs, just going for your goal, your, your dream, anything. 
I said, you know what? I'm going to stop telling people. I'm going to stop telling people just to see, you know, what's going to happen. When I do tell them, I said, I'll wait till after the goal or the dream is accomplished. Then I'll let the person know. Pretty much knowing, pretty much in a nutshell, just letting the person know that you got it after you already got it. You know? And I said, that's what I'm going to move from, from now on. Like, I've been in those situations. I tried it, you know? Even recently with the car. I was like, I knew I was going to get the car and everything. And I wanted to tell my close family and friends. But I didn't tell anyone. I was like, let me just keep this inside so I actually get the car. Actually have the keys in there. Just everything is settled. And in this particular situation, it would have been like a 50-50 chance if I would have got it. But I said, I'm going to be silent. I'm going to be, you know, quiet. And I'm just keep hope and manifest this in my mind that I'm going to get it and I'm just not going to tell no one until until it happened soon as I did that oh got the car I started doing that when it came to like jobs didn't say nothing just go for the go boom end up getting the job close a certain deal certain contracts on certain accounts didn't say nothing this was something that I wanted to do boom end up closing the deal then i'll celebrate i'll say something afterwards but i notice when i do it prematurely and tell people you know it 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 never pans through it never pans through and i had to sit back and think like okay you know i may want everyone to win i may want everyone to succeed i may want everyone to have you know a better life but Everyone is not going to be on the same page as you with that. Just because you want to see everybody win, doesn't mean everybody else want to see you win. And you know what? We're going to jump into another one of our sponsors, but I'm going to come back. I'm going to touch on deeper on what I mean with that. Everyone doesn't want to see you win. And how that can play a crucial role in you trying to manifest your goals. So we're going to have this quick little word from our sponsors, and um, I'm going to jump back into it. You may not be a member of a royal family, but you sure feel like you should be. SG Dynasty. SG Dynasty is a new fun, hip, and trendy fashion clothing and accessory brand for the queens and kings of the world. No matter your age, this brand represents the royalty in all of us. They are a fashion and style brand that carries stylish clothes, accessories, home essentials, beauty and hair care products, and so much more. Feeling like royalty is not just a state of mind, it's how you look and how you feel. Catering to the king and queens of the world sgdynasty.com also follow them on instagram at sgdynasty inc check out their awesome styles right now sgdynasty.com because you deserve the best Alrighty, guys so that was another quick word from our sponsors so we're gonna jump back into this so i can dig deeper on what i mean about everyone doesn't want you to succeed and win it's just it's just not going to happen in this type of world you may want blessings and want to manifest greatness or want people to manifest greatness for themselves but you don't always receive that in return so i started to sit back and think i was like okay what could be crucial factors in you know when i do tell people or when i used to tell people you know the things i wanted to get accomplished or things i thought i was going to have done and then it didn't fall through I was like, okay, what could be the reason with that? Is it just that I'm speaking it prematurely? Or, you know, it can be even factors. The same people that you think care about you, love you, want to see you winning. Those same people can actually be praying for your downfall. So, hypothetically speaking, you can go around your family and be like, oh, you got this one job on the line. You're happy about it. Got a few family members in there. You know, everyone say, oh, we happy for you. But hypothetically speaking, what if there's one person out the bunch who is not happy for you? And inside, they're manifesting. Like, I hope they don't get that. I hope they don't get that. You know, I hope they don't succeed. I hope they don't get that car. I hope they don't get that job. And people don't realize the power in manifesting. You want something, you believe in it, you're hoping it. Oh, it, it's going to happen. And it's sad because it happens on both, both sides of the coin. 
you know, so the next thing you know, you're all positive, you have that person who's, so to speak, just hating on you, and praying for your downfall, you don't get the opportunity that you were talking about, and they're happy, and why, all because we open up our mouth, we're excited, we want to, you know, tell people about what we got going on, before it's completely done, before it's complete, we need to stop that, my brothers and sisters, we need to. I promise you guys, I promise you, if you one of those individuals who it just seems like nothing is panning through, try to move and manifest your goals in silence, just for once, just try it, try to weed out what's going on, either you, and if you're putting the umph, everything, your, your, your goals, you're, you're doing everything you're supposed to do, and the goal is still not panning through, but you're talking about it prematurely, just change it up. Change it up. See if it's, something's going to be different for you. And I guarantee it's going to produce a different result. Don't focus on telling people about what you got going on, what you're about to do. Just do it. Just do it and produce those results so people going to see. Let your work speak for itself. Let your moves, the things that you're going to end up having, let that speak for itself. You don't need to talk about it to nobody. Nobody. I'm saying because it's just it's going to bite you in the behind. I'll give you guys one last another scenario. It could be something where, say, your family member or friend, they're not even hating on you. It could be a situation or opportunity that you have, you want to put them up on to help them. You know, it could be anything from a job position. If you're an actor, it can even be, you know, you're applying for an actor or actress role. You try to put your friend or your family member up on. They come out to do it. They ain't really got the drive like you got, but they're like, hey, I might as well just come out here just because. Next thing you know it, they got the part. You ain't get the part. Now you feeling like crap. Now, I'm not telling y'all go out there and don't try to put your family members up on or friends up on. I'm just saying, focus on you first, manifesting your goals, your dreams, your desires. Do all this in silence and let your work, let your results speak for itself. Once you at the top, once you good, you got everything going for you, then you can start helping out other people. You can lend a helping hand. But if you don't get your stuff in order first, how you going to be helping other people? How you going to put other people up on? You got to focus on you. You got to manifest your goals and move in silence. I'm telling you. Now, I already know. I already know. For those who listening, y'all going to go try this tactic. Just, just move in silence, whatever it is. If it's starting a business, getting a car, getting a new job, whatever it is, a home project that you're doing, whatever it is, just move in silence. And I guarantee, I guarantee it's going to be better results. It's, it's, it's a switching up routine you, you gotta switch it up switch up the routine switch up what you normally do you're always itching to talk to somebody tell somebody something just switch it up be silent focus on your work focus on what you need to do to get the task done accomplish the goal the after it's done you can talk about it now that's just my viewpoint i don't know how y'all gonna feel about it i'm just just throwing it out there you know i wish somebody would have told me sooner you know, to apply this. And I'm just, you know, throwing it out there for those who do need some help or wondering, like, what what could be a possibility on why I'm just, I feel like I'm this close, but I'm not, not reaching the goal that I want. What am I doing wrong? But like I said, if you give it 110% and it's still that result and the only common denominator is you're just talking about it prematurely before you actually get it and it's yours, just stop it. Just, just switch it up. Just we got to. So, I mean, that's that's my homework for y'all guys that's listening. You know, switch it up. Have a goal. Don't tell nobody about it. Work on it. Get it done. Succeed. And then you can talk about it when you can reap the benefits of it. So, 
So I just wanted to leave y'all with that note, you know. I do have two more other sponsors that I do want to, you know, give a quick little shout out to. It's the Modeling Besties Network. So if you're a model who's looking to get more exposure or, you know, you just, you starting your career and, you know, you want to get together with more like-minded models and photographers, just get in that connection bubble. I'll tell y'all, go to Instagram, follow Modeling Besties Network, get connected, meet other models like you, you can learn some things, you know, get your feet wet, get out there, start your career. And another one I will want to shout out, if you guys been listening to this podcast and you enjoy the beats that you hear on here, I tell y'all, go to Instagram, follow producer project weapon x on there all you gotta do is add the producer at project weapon x beats on ig and you can purchase beats or you can go to airbit.com slash project weapon x you can purchase beats directly there they got the whole catalog you get all hooked up in addition to that guys now i say this every show but you know, if you guys haven't joined the whole CE family and you want to know how you can join and be part of everything that we got going on, well, you can personally follow me on IG at so God Like Official. You can follow me on Twitter at Continental ESPI. And you can join the YouTube family at Continental Espionage. We got all type of content on there, everything from music to comedy skits whatever so you can just join the family there and i just want to tell all you guys thank you for listening love you be safe check out all that information i just put y'all up on and i'm gonna holla at y'all next time